right, here we are in the streets of Montreal with, uh, you got it, Anvil. Lips. Hey, guys. Yeah, yeah Rob Ryder, how you doing, guys? We're here, yeah. Can you slow down? <laughs> He's going backwards. <laughs> He's going backwards. He's going to watch where he's going, man. All right, here we are. All right, new album. Yeah, new album. What has been the reaction from all the fans? Generally, that it's welcome back. Yeah, overwhelmingly accepted. I don't know if people are just really excited about it. Uh, why? You tell me why. Well, I, you know, I told you this, Rob, before. I think this is probably one of Anvil's at least top three albums of all time. Yeah, you're not the only one that feels that way, so I guess that's why people enjoy are digging it. And you know what? We got our new album ready to go too, and it's going to kick even more. So, so Lips. Yeah. We could stop here for a bit. So what you're saying is, the new album is ready. Is, is the packaging done? No, it's no, just no, ready. No, 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 no. We got all the songs. That part, Ed, no, the but... song, the songs are all written. Okay, the song's all ready. We're going to record it next summer. All right, let me just talk about a few of the titles of the songs, okay? Okay. Let's get back. And I have my little piece of paper here, right? Now, you got two instrumentals, which I yeah. think are like mind... I mean, they're, they're both the same, but they've sort of added, a, a, you know, you got the trumpets, the horns, and all that stuff. Right. Is that your Buddy Rich kind of... Yeah, Gomez, Gomez is the shit, man. Period. You know what well, I mean? We, 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 we've been influenced by big band swing since the early beginnings and the real truth is that's where we got the inspiration to play our speed metal that everybody went and captioned it speed metal but we're but we're all, going yeah. it's fucking it's, it's fucking swinging. swinging jazz what yeah. do you mean it's our speed metal speed has metal. a swing feel to it under, underlining and actually a lot of uh, intuitive listeners pick up on that some do you know? some do some uh, yeah. many yeah. many intuitive. don't and and you know what's really fascinating is we put we, the, 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 when we when we went and recorded uh, the, the two instrumentals I originally didn't want to put horns and the reason I didn't want to because we did it on juggernaut of justice and I'm thinking no I don't want to do the, do the same thing I, I want let's let's just keep it real simple and just do three piece like no fucking overdubs for 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 uh, under rhythms for the guitar just fucking real three-piece jazz right but well, we did it and we were very satisfied but then the producer goes I'm I'm bringing in horns and I'm going I don't want you to bring in horns. he goes I'm bringing in yeah. horns and, I, and he goes this I, is what I'm gonna do he goes I to him, yeah bring in the horns so <laughs> so I, he, he says to me I'm gonna give you an offer you can't refuse first of all that's gonna be friends of mine so you don't have to do shit you don't have to you don't have to go through the pain of recording it nothing nothing he says I'm gonna give it to these guys and they're gonna send it finished to you and you can listen to it and you do not have to pay for it if you don't like it. All right, yeah. that's pretty yeah. cool. So that's pretty and cool. I'm going, well, fuck, how do you say no to that? <laughs> you got nothing to lose. And then he goes on top of it, because I believe in it so hard, the producer goes, I'll pay for half of it if we have to pay for it. Or, fuck, okay, well, fuck, okay, let's do it. So we're mixing, we're already finished everything, and then the song comes in, and they go, Lips, come into the studio. And I, I, he runs it, and I'm going, Oh my fucking god. That we've got two songs now. That's what I instantly said. We've got two songs. Now the song was originally uh, Tea Bag, which was named after Sasha Dravazi, the guy who made the movie, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That was we just, nicknamed uh, him Tea Bag when he was 15 when we first met him because he was English. You know, Tea Bag, English, yeah. whatever. But he's That's also Gomez. <laughs> but but, but, but la years oh, later, of course, after the movie became, so he was so eccentric about it and so fucking excited. He's going, I've got the best fucking train set on the block, and all the other kids are coming to see it. And we went, I think you sound like Gomez Adams. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> so, From we the, Gomez, so we started calling him Gomez. So when we now we had the same song, two different. We can use both of his his names. So we called the first one. I didn't know that. The, That's the, the instrumental tea bag after his old name, and then Gomez after his newer name. What which is, is, which is interesting. Okay, okay. Now you're talking about Sasha. All right, so we can walk okay. a little bit, and you could tell us about because I know your wife is hungry there. She's uh, she's probably itching to eat. All right, the re-release of the Anvil story, right? right. The documentary. All right. right, tell me what people can expect. You know, bonus, bonus. Well, but there's a, it, it, two, it, three things. Okay, the three master. Apparently, it sounds better. 
and uh, there's a, an hour interview at the end of the movie with us guys bringing everybody up to date. So Q&A, is that it? No, it's not Q&A. No, 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 it's, no. It's, 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 it's explanation of what happened it's after the movie, the movie. And, and everything like that. Um, where we've been, who we played with, where we... Uh, all, all, hey! The, the, uh, the, you know, the effects that the movie had on the whole situation. So, yeah, it, it brings everybody up to date. Okay, we're at the crossing. We're at the light here. And I think my phone's going. That's me. It's oh, it's you? Pete. Okay, it's all right. Pete. It's probably you. That's Brother B. All right, so... You got the you, everybody from the movie is up there at the end. Is that is that on the new release? Is that what it is? Okay, hold on a second. Let me let me preface this. You're gonna go to L.A. Yeah. And you're gonna premiere the movie, the, the movie. remastered version of the movie, yeah, right? Like red carpet. All these celebrities are coming. It's gonna be a, some kind of a Hollywood blowout, and they're gonna show the movie, and then we're gonna play after the movie. We're doing an ample experience. Yeah. Are there any scenes in the movie that weren't included? No, 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 no. It's the same. Any. It's the same movie. Okay. The reason this thing is coming back is because it's 13 years later, and there's, there's a, a massive movie. new generation of uh, people who have no idea about Anvil. Yeah, okay, it's stopped I've right never here. Seen, they've they've never right seen here. the movie. They've never seen okay. the movie. They've never heard of Anvil. It's just new people. Okay, let's just put it this way. A kid, a guy comes up to me at, at one of the gigs in the states, and he goes, "How's your little son?" I go, "My little son? What do you mean, my little son?" He's 25. He's going, what? I'm going, dude, he was 10 when they filmed the movie. That's 15 years ago. He's 25. And he's going, it's fucking 15 years ago? Yeah. Well, that's what the thing people don't realize. That movie came out 15 years ago. Yeah. And, the people, Originally. That, uh, and the people that are involved in all this, uh, we didn't see this coming. They had, they, they, they've, in, in a weird, innocent way, they test marketed it. And, and the reaction for it was unbelievable. And they apparently today the world needs this story. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what they feel. So part of part of it is 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 it, it's a, a very very hopeful. It's a very very hopeful. Uh, br uh, brings hope to people's lives when they watch that movie because it's about guys that never give up. Yeah. So it gives you hope. I mean, they have had every every possible thing that could go wrong went wrong, but we still kept going, and that's a fucking that's inspiration to people. Look at if and, these guys can do it, so can yeah, we. And the best part of all of this, it all filtered down, and we get to rock more. <laughs> that's all that matters. What, what are some of the celebrities? Tell me some of the celebrities that have said, "Oh my God, I've seen this movie." Jimmy Fallon, right? Jimmy Fallon's one of them. Oh, oh so yeah. Well, uh, well if we, 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 how many? Is the list? The list is long. Where do, where do we want to start? Yeah. The list how about is long. Dustin Hoffman? Let's start <laughs> oh, with Dustin, Dustin Hoffman. Hoffman. Yeah. yeah. No, the list is endless with that. So there's no point in talking about virtually. Yeah, but why? Uh, why, uh, why, uh, why go there? Like, and then anybody listening to this is going to go, "Oh, these guys are all full of themselves." No. How about? Hey, I asked about, the question. About, I asked the how question. About, not you guys. At, at the critics. Choice Awards, okay? Paul McCartney's sitting 15 feet from Robbo and I, and we're going, we're gonna go meet him. We're on our way to go fucking meet Paul McCartney, and Quentin Tarantino grabs me by the arm and he goes, fuck lips, that fucking movie fucking knocked me on my ass, man. I don't fucking get it. The Critics' Choice, they gave the fucking, they gave the award to a bunch of fucking dolphins. They're a bunch of fucking no-mind assholes. And he's fucking losing his shit on me. And I go, and listen, Quentin, it's great to meet you, but Paul McCartney's over there? Please excuse me. <laughs> that just gives you some kind of idea of what well, I asked the question about. about. I, I'm not trying yeah. to make you guys full of themselves. No, 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 I'm no, asking, no, no. I'm no just, but I just because said that's it's, a very, very it's, interesting... It's crossed from, to the mainstream, to sort of like the higher up echelons of... Hollywood in a yeah, sense, it was, right? It was an oh, insane, absolutely, it was insane. because was insane. because it was about it's about artists going for it. Okay, nothing could hit more home to to the Hollywood people than an artist yeah. trying to make was, it. Yeah, yeah. So, and, anyways, and, it's, and you know, like like I've got, I've had I've had actors okay. like really famous actors. Uh, I'm not going to give it the specifics because I don't want to give away what. Because he was, in, in a sense, complaining about not being able to work, okay? He's going, hey, Lips, man, you know what? There's 500,000 people who belong to fucking, who belong to the Actors Guild, and there's only 50 guys working. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And that's right. Th there, there you go, man. And th that's, that's how an actor looks at what that movie did. And he's going, congratulations. How about a, a phone call? Sasha's sitting with... with 
Sir Anthony Hopkins, okay? What happened was, <laughs> Hopkins saw the Anvil movie and he goes, okay, we're, we're gonna make a movie about Hitchcock. I'm getting this fucking director. If, if, if this is what he did with guys who can't act, I gotta get that director. Cause I'm, I'm doing Hitchcock, I need a real director. He hired Sasha to do the Hitchcock, got Sasha to do the Hitchcock movie. Unbelievable. Okay, so they're sitting at dinner and 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 uh, Anthony goes to Sasha, get get fucking lips on the fucking phone, okay? So my fucking phone rings and I pick it up and go, hello? And he goes, hello, lips, this is Tony Hopkins. And I'm going, are you fucking kidding me? I'm fucking talking to Hannibal Lecter on my fucking cell phone. What the fuck is this? Okay, so I'm just giving you, when you, when you talk about actors and stuff, of course it hits home to them. Of course, because, and what did Anthony say to me? He goes, I didn't get my first break till I was 40. Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. so that's Strikes where it nerve. becomes relatable, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah All right, let's let's move let's on. Go. I think somebody there is saying hi there. Yeah. Yes. Guys, good. Nice fan see love, you. fan love. What's that? Some fan yeah, love. Of course. Since 2019. All right. All right. Gunfight. Another title off. Is that sort of like Another the whole? Another gunfight. Yeah. Is that just sort of like the the state of the world today? You know. Um, I, I I it's I write from my environment, right? Mm -hmm. I, I strictly write from what what's going on in the world around me and and shit. And you, every day, especially in Toronto, what's been going on? There's guys shooting each other in the fucking street. Yeah. And what the fuck are you guys doing, man? Yeah, and it's all illegal guns. You know, they're, they're going to oh, we made handguns illegal. So fucking what? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Criminals don't fucking co follow the law anyway. So so they're illegal. Big deal. Yeah. <laughs> What's that going to change? Yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah, you know, there's a lot of stuff that that. I mean, that really it's it's a, it bothers me. It, it 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 sits on my in my in my in my mind. Oh yeah, we better we better and stay I, right I here. I try to do things and try to say things about them and and bring it to to people's consciousness. But uh, ultimately, it, it's about my surroundings, about my, you know. Uh, the last question is, well, what's one theme on the last album? The impact is imminent. W give me one theme that you kind of like, you know, that really, I really loved what I wrote there in terms of lyrics. Uh, probably Wizard's Wand. Mm. And it's, it's me wanting to make the world into a better place. Ultimately, that I couldn't have said it. If I was a wizard, that's what I would do. <laughs> if I could, if I could fix this world, I'd do it, man. Mm -hmm. Because I find so many things just not right. Like really, really. Last part here. Last part, rips. This is just for all those assholes out there. People said, you know, the impact is imminent. Ha 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 ha. You know, it's the same title as so many other albums. Well, I wrote a so list. I wrote a list. I wrote a list of other bands. Okay, we have Ozzy Osbourne and Helix, No Rest for the Wicked. Right. Right, two metal bands with the same title, right? right. But nobody seems to say boo about that. Well, right? no, they did in their time. But they, yeah. and, and they're not going to say anything to us. It's just that uh, we're, we're talking about what happened recently. Okay, yeah, go ahead. The, the Cure and George Michael Faith. Right. Just saying, Black Sabbath 13 and Blur 13. And what about An Anvils? This is 13. Oh, well, this is 13, all right. And that happened before Black Testa Sabbath. Testament Low and David Bowie Low. And hold on a sec, Kiss, they had a Killers, an album. And hold on, Iron Maiden's got an album called Killers. Yeah, and so does, so does Alice Cooper. So does Alice Cooper. And then Maiden, a Number of the Beast, and Aphrodite's Child, Number of the Beast 666. So bottom line is... Psalm 41, Heaven or Hell. That's just right. came out. That's right, there you go. There you go. So, you know, for all those... Oh look, I guess he's got a, he, he has a record that he wants to sign. On that note, guys, the Canadian tour, quickly, right? Coming up. Yeah. Well, going yeah, through Quebec. Yeah. Quebec going through Down Canada. East and some Ontario dates. Alright, okay. No Europe. Sixty shows. Alright. Glad to uh, talk to you again, Lips. Yeah. It's, been Rob, it's always usual. a pleasure, my friend. It's always a pleasure. Glad you're liking you all. Alright. Love the new album.